Rich Dad Poor Dad Book Lessons Rich versus Poor Mindset What's the difference between the rich versus poor mindset? It's all about how you think and used money. What is a rich mindset according to Robert Kiyosaki? 1. The rich don't work for money. While the poor and middle class work for money, the rich make money work for them. Basically, the poor and middle class work a day job to earn a paycheck, whereas the rich are entrepreneurial and capitalize on opportunities. 2. The rich build assets and reduce liabilities. Instead of relying on your job for money, you should focus on building your personal wealth by increasing your assets. Rich people acquire assets while the poor and middle class acquire liabilities. An asset puts money in your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. 3. The rich make money work for them. It's not how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. The rich dad is a frugal man who doesn't have a lot of material possessions. While the traditional school system educates you on how to get a job, it doesn't show you how to save money and make it work for you. 4. The rich minimize taxes and use the power of corporations. The rich have or use advisors who have financial IQ, the expertise in accounting, investing, understanding markets and the law. They understand how to maneuver the system to protect their assets and minimize their taxes. For example, they understand that a corporation can do things that an employee can't. An employee, 1. Earns income, 2. Gets taxed, and 3. Uses the remaining amount for expenses. In contrast, a corporation, 1. Earns income, 2. Spends, and then, 3. Gets taxed on the remaining income. They also use their corporation to protect their personal assets against lawsuits. 5. The rich create opportunities and take risks. While the poor and middle class wait for luck and opportunity, the rich recognize and create opportunities and take big risks. There is one who buys a packaged investment like a mutual fund through a financial investor. There is another who puts together opportunities and creates a new investment. 6. The rich learn management and communication skills. The skills of management and communication are necessary to learn to achieve financial success. Communication skills writing, speaking, negotiating, selling, and marketing are particularly important. You can learn these skills through attending courses or working a second or other job that allows you to build on these skill sets. 7. The rich align their habits and emotions. In order to build your assets and use your financial literacy, you need to manage your mental state, overcome your fear of losing money. Failure inspires winners. Failure defeats losers. Don't be like most and let your doubts and thoughts of doom and gloom paralyze you into inaction. Don't think you're too busy or don't have enough money to build your wealth if you think you can't afford it. You should ask yourself, how can I afford it? Use exercises like paying yourself first as the pressure to pay your creditors will be so great that it will motivate you to make more money. Of course, pay your bills as well, but use this exercise as a way to stimulate your financial thinking. Overcome your arrogance and be open-minded to learning more. What I enjoyed about Rich Dad Poor Dad there is a lot to be learned from the lessons in the book. New perspectives are always useful to have in your toolbox. The book made me think differently about business and investing in real estate. Personal finance and knowing how to manage your money are important life skills. I will be encouraging my daughter to read this book as I don't want her to learn this knowledge later in life like I did. I also like how the beginning of the book is told from the point of view of Kiyosaki from when he's a young boy. What I questioned about Rich Dad Poor Dad When I started reading reviews about the book, I came across articles that discuss how the book might be fictional. There were articles stating that Kiyosaki's Rich Dad might not be real as Kiyosaki wouldn't disclose his identity. The Kimi family later came to an arrangement with Kiyosaki to disclose Richard Wasman Kimi's identity as the Rich Dad. So I guess there was a rich dad after all. Final thoughts on Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad I recommend Rich Dad Poor Dad. The story of Robert and Mike as boys and the trials they go through learning from the rich dad are fun and interesting. Robert Kiyosaki mentions a lot of stories and examples, which help to illustrate the learnings. The most valuable thing I've attained is a different perspective about how to attain money, how to create a wealthy mindset. Visit shop.mommoneymap.com for more information.